I grew up fishing, both recreationally, but also as an Nez Perce tribal member, fishing for subsistence. And fish have always been a big part of my life. My name is Zach Penny, and um, I work for the Columbia Intertribal Fish Commission. I run the fishery science department for the Columbia Intertribal Fish Commission. The Columbia River is the largest river in the Pacific Northwest. It's over 1,200 miles long. Today we're in Oregon at a, a small stream with salmon in it. The Columbia Intertribal Fish Commission is more or less run by four separate tribes. It's the Nez Perce tribe, the Yakima Nation, the Warm Springs tribe, as well as the Umatilla tribe. Salmon are a big part of our culture, they're part of our identity, and to preserve them is to preserve not just our culture, but ourselves. During settlement of westward expansion here in the west, people saw the power of the river and wanted to harness that power, and so you had dams that were put into the river to kind of harness the electrical power. Salmon are anadromous, meaning that they start their lives in fresh water, but they will go out to the ocean and they'll come back again. And they use this incredible sense of smell to kind of guide them back to the river system that they came from. When you put in obstacles like dams, the fish have to get by them. And this isn't just when they're adults coming back to spawn, but also when they're babies trying to get out, which is where some of the, the, the big issues actually happen. Part of the oral tradition was that one of the conditions that salmon gave us was it would bring back gifts from the ocean and support us so long as we allowed it to spawn in the place that it was born. So that's part of our role. In a large river like the Columbia River and in places like Bonneville Dam, which are in the lower portion of the river, you might have a lot of salmon all going through the same point at once. And so you need ways to actually be able to estimate the size of a population. One of the tough things about fisheries is often uh, you actually can't see the fish that you're counting. At places like dams, we can actually count fish in these fish ladders that the fish have to cross. And in those cases, uh, sometimes we can get a very good number of fish crossing. In other cases, by knowing a rough estimate of how many fish are caught, we can determine what sort of effect that might be having on the overall population, whether or not we need to stop people from fishing. There's a lot more species in the Columbia River than just salmon, and so we continue to work on ways to improve passage past these obstacles for those fish. We have salmon ladders, obviously, for the salmon to help swim up past the dam. The lamprey, they're not as strong of a swimmer, so we built special structures for them so they can move their way up these inclines, which is pretty amazing to watch. And then when they hit the end, they dump out into the river and they make their way upstream. So it works pretty well for the lamprey. I love these fish to death. Not only do I like to catch them, but I mean, uh, just really appreciate you know, all that they've gone through. Uh, you know, these fish have seen a lot of different things and kind of what they overcome to migrate back to their spawning systems. I mean, it's, it's a great deal of admiration and, and respect for these things. And to have a job where I can help protect them, in some cases restore them, it's not just for myself, it's for future generations ahead.